In this story, we're going to go over multiplication and division. Um, I showed you addition and subtraction a while ago. Multiplication and division is a bit more difficult, but I want to explain it. So first, you want to write org 1000 at the top, or 100, then int 20 to end it. And we're going to define a couple numbers. I'm going to say num1. I'm um, instead of going to write db, I'm going to dd. Because, like I said in the last video, db is defined bytes, dw is defined word, w is defined doubles, and this is defined quadruples. Um, so we're going to define a Google number numbers doubles, and then num2 um, define double, let's say 5. And now let's say um, mov a h zero zero two h I think mov d l say an a then int twenty one h now when we run this it should just dis display an a character because that's what in case you don't know um zero two will display an a character or display a character and if you look at the ASCII chart, the characters for numbers starts at 48 and then ends at 57. So what we're going to do, we're going to add 2 num 1 48. And now we're going to display the character num 1 going to have to get a I think a word out of it now what's what size is that so a byte there we go now as you can see it will display a 3 for us because 3 plus 48 is 51 which goes right here 51 which is a 3 character this doesn't work this method of displaying numbers doesn't work with anything above 9 as you can see 10 will give us this but we just want to display like this for now just to show it works so the first thing we're going to do is the easy one which is multiply um, so to multiply we're going to let's say multiply num1 times num2 so um, so the first thing you need to do is you need to move into um, what I'm going to do I'm going to use some different registries ones we haven't seen before EX EA or EBX ECX and EDX I'm going to use these you'll use these registries a lot um, all registries have different sizes like the DL, the L registries are usually a byte. The um, I'm quite sure the the X registries are a word, and the E X registries are a double word. So these E X re E um, X registries are pretty useful. You use these a lot in 32-bit assembly. But so I'm just going to go ahead and use these. So I'm going to move into E X num1 now num or num one's already a double word so I don't have to specify a size then I'm going to move into ebx num2 now I'm going to use multiply ebx and then I'm going to say um, move into num1 ebx now let's see what this does 2 um, or what, let's try eax there we go 6 so we multiply 2 and 3 but how did we do that well to multiply you gotta get two registries um, you define your two registries I use the EX registries, um, I specifically EAX and EBX because they're already double word size. So you put you the two numbers you want to multiply in two registries. 
and then you write mole and then you put the second registry and it will multiply the two numbers together and it will send the result to the first registry so when I so when I said the first registry was num1 the second registry is num2 and I said multiply and I said the second registry and then what I did but then what happened was the result 6 went up and went into the first registry and then I moved the first registry into number 1 then I added 48 and displayed it on the screen now as you can see if I change this to 3 and 3 when I run this it's going to give us 9 or if I say 2 and 2 going to give us a 4. So that's how you multiply. Dividings, dividings has to be very specific and it's kind of confusing but and really strange but it has to be pretty specific. Um, first you want uh, the E A X register. You have to do this correctly. You need the E D X and the E D D e C X register in this order in the E A X register you have to move in the first number you want so num1 and then the D X register you want to move in 0 I'll explain that later in the C X register you want to move in the second number and you want to write div E C X and then let's try, let's see if you don't get any errors Oops, I think I, let's try to make sure that compiles. Get one. And let's make sure that works. Let's try to dividing six by two. And then we get three. So to divide, this has to be very specific. First, you actually have to give it two numbers to divide. I don't know why, but when I try to do different registries, it tends to mess up. So I, I suggest doing it exactly like this. You want to, you want your EAX register, your EDX register, and your ECX register. In your EAX, you want to move in your first number. And then in the ECX, you want to move in your second number. The EDX, I'm th what I think the EDX is, is you, it divides both these numbers together. So this does something like... Um, it does something like this. It will say EAX and EDX divided by ECX, something like that. So it kind of puts these like together like that and divides them. But usually we're only dividing one number, so you want to make sure EDX is zero. Um, and EAX is going to be your first number, ECX is your second number. Then you want to write div ECX and the result of the division will go to EAX um, and then, then I just got EAX and added it to there so now I can see if I type in something like 20 divided by 5 it's going to give us 4 and so that just is a quick tutorial on division and multiplication um, if if you don't have EDX set to zero, I just wanted to show you this. It's going to crash. So you got to have EDX at zero. That's just it for this tutorial. Um, yeah.